All right, collective, welcome back, y'all. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All right, so we're going to do a collective read. I was going to do the um, the karmic and the divine masculine read first, but I think I'm going to do that immediately after this video. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Y'all been asking me to do it. I, I was kind of skeptical on doing that, pulling that energy, but if that's what y'all are looking for, we're going to do it. All right. So let's start off with the Millennial Oracle and get a message from here before we jump into the tarot. What does the collective need to know? We got viral, finesse, and no chill. So somebody's going viral on the internet. Somebody going viral. You could be going viral on the internet, like going crazy on the internet. Like, your numbers are going up. Your views are going up. Your uh, business is going up. You've been going crazy online. Y'all been going crazy online. Like, something that you're doing is going viral. Viral, viral, viral. Somebody that you used to date or that you used to deal with, they are uh, trolling you online because you're succeeding in everything. They look at you as competition. Yeah, somebody that you used to deal with, they feel like they're missing out. They're, they're peeping in to see like what they're missing out on. Um, because whatever it is that you've been doing, you've been slaying anything that you put out, anything that you've been, uh, presenting to the world has been being viewed, looked at, accomplished, um, after accomplishment, after accomplishment. Okay. And now they're on the internet trolling you. They're trolling your Instagram. Looks like they got an Instagram account right here. It could be Instagram or Facebook. They're mimicking you, um, as well. You got somebody who's mimicking. I'm getting some mimicking energy over here as well, too. Like copycat energy. I'm getting a copycat energy. We finna find out. We about to find out. Show me this person's energy. Who is this copycat? This old... Anything you can do, I can do better type energy. Like, grow up. <laughs> Show me this person. Oh. Yeah, it's somebody that somebody is sleeping with. Okay, so let's put this into perspective. This could be someone. Some of y'all are sleeping with your own enemy. Some of y'all are laying next to your own enemy. Some of y'all, this is somebody from that your ex is dealing with. That may be looking at you as competition. They're concerned that you're making more money, that you have more coming in, you're getting more done, you're accomplishing more, more than them. Concerned. Yeah, they're very concerned. And see, they're concerned because they are stuck in this poverty energy. They're stuck. Yeah, this is somebody this is somebody that you used to deal with or somebody that you are currently dealing with. So make sure you're checking your people at the door because we got mature man and I asked for a clarify for the courtship. Okay. So for some of you, like I said, this is someone that you could be dealing with currently. Like be looking at your little sideways. For some of you, this is someone this is an ex. 
For some of you, this is an ex um, new person that they're dealing with. They feel like you changed. You changed your style. Yeah, like you you switched up your style. Concerned and false person. Then we got expectation and high honor. I feel like they didn't, they don't want you to go far. They're even willing to play a false person in the situation. They're even willing to smile in your face um, and bite, throw the rock in, hide a hand. Let's go ahead and pull the tarot. Let's see. Before I do that, let's see what this person, because this person seems like they all up in their feelings. We're going to pull it from the In My Feelings deck right here. Y'all hit the like button if this message is resonating with you. Comment below. Let's see what this person in their feelings about. Why is this person so in their feelings about to collect good, going viral, getting noticed, getting recognition? Patience and submissive and fearful and guilty. They feel guilty about something. They could have been having bad dreams. Journey. Okay. They was hoping that you was coming back. They felt like you just needed space to clear your head or they needed space to clear their head and they wanted you to be patient with them because they were planning on coming back or they expected for were expected for you to come back to them. Yeah, this person upset as hell. <laughs> they could be depressed. All they do is sleep. Like they got a routine, work, sleep. Yeah, they over here reminiscing. They over here reminiscing about the good old days, okay? But they just need time to clear their head. See, I feel like this is them. See, they done went off somewhere else. They done journeyed off somewhere else, and they want you wanted you to be patient with them while they sleep around and do whatever they wanted to do with whoever and whoever. But see, now they sitting back. They see you getting attention. Now they sitting back reminiscing. I told you they depressed. They fighting depression right now. They fighting depression. They um wanted some time to clear their head and see, yeah, this is a masculine. We got king. Mm -hmm. This person just sit home and sleep around, sleep around with karmics. So I feel like this is the ex that, that's sitting back looking at you be successful. Trolling your your social media site. All right. Yeah, this person mad. This person is upset. They surprised that you would leave. <laughs> they surprised that you would walk away. Wow. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Emperor, Chariot, Judgment, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this person, um, there's, there's three people here. There's three people. It's two females and a male here. I want to get some energy. Tell me why this Queen of Cups is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Okay. Talking. 
Okay, then the, the sword in the rose is the truth. So this person is has been running from the truth. Okay, because we got the runner and the sword in the rose. This person is running from some type of truth that they sabotaged. They sabotaged you guys' connection. Okay, so they're running from their truth. They're not trying to accept um, the truth of the situation. We got the emperor. This is masculine. This is your divine masculine. That's feeling this way. Yeah, sunglasses. He been spying on you. On the internet. Because we got the world right here. We got the phoenix. The phoenix and the sunglasses is the page of swords in the world. Okay? And they heartbroken. They hurt. Why is this queen of pentacles here? Is this going to have something to do with your abundance? I just saw a card. It looked like a card was flipped over. Twin flames, yeah. Yeah, see, the challenge is this person feels like both of you are supposed to be doing the same thing on the same level. They are upset because you walked away and you're in your abundant state and they're still stuck in their poverty energy. But see, this is all they've been doing. See, this is this is their problem. They've been over here dealing with karmics, dealing with third party interferences, over here being a snake. Okay, playing a snake role. So you decided to move forward. You've been pressing forward. And this person is upset about it. Yeah, you've been making progress. You've, you're more balanced. You've been working on your physical. Your like, I feel like you're just all around. And see, this person been spying on you. This person could be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But the thing about this is, this person, they over here doing them. I'm telling you, Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups. This person over here doing them, but watching you at the same time. This person is saying, it looks like the past energy. This person realized that the decision that they made, they felt like they was making the right decision because they felt like they shouldn't have to force a connection. So I feel like there was an ending. They decided to move on and try something new. They wanted something else. They wanted something else. So y'all parted ways. Y'all parted ways, but they still sitting here spying. Like, when they thought that you was going to die without, they thought you was going to not going to be able to do anything without them. Like, like they was, I don't know. <laughs> what was they going to do? Like, what did they th think that you was going to do? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? This person is over here getting ready to give up. They're getting ready to give up. They may be planning on going back to whatever this, whoever this karmic is um, because they feel like you have leveled up too much, that, that they're not even your type anymore. Um, they feel like you're not going to want to collab with them. See, this person wants to, wants to come back. Knight of Wands. They've been waiting on their chance to come back. They've been contemplating on it. But you see, they're dragging their feet. They take it too long. They take it too long to give you this offer. They take it too long to give you this offer. This person does want to communicate with you. This person is trying. Like, they... they. <sighs> I feel like... 
this person wants to talk to you because they want to try to see if there's a way that you guys could work on y'all whatever issues that y'all had in the past but see this person want to live a double life because this person is juggling two people two of pentacles and the empress this person already got somebody else that they're collabing and dealing with Ooh, this is a messy situation. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is here as the outcome. The High Priestess. Yeah, this person know if they come back to you, this is going to raise hell. With the karmic that they're dealing with. But they do want to work. They want to work this out with you. They want to work this out with you. That's why they spying on you. They want to work this out with you. Um, they want you to reach out first. We got the Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. And the Fool. They want you to reach out first though. And they're uncertain if it's going to be worth it. Um, this person sounds like a coward to me. I see they betrayed you. They betrayed you. We got the moon and the ten of swords. They done stabbed you in the back. And they, they feel like, why would we want to get back together after all of that? There's gossiping going on. There's a lot of gossip in the streets. Eight of cups. Three of cups. Paper the swords. There's a lot of gossiping going on in the streets. Mm -mm. They know. See, they over the miserable with their little karmi. And now they see you over here doing good. You blowing up, you getting attention. They like, oh no, oh no, I gotta get, I gotta get it, uh, such and such back. But how? I done, I done betrayed them. I done stabbed them in the back. I don't know, dog. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> y'all, let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm gonna chat with y'all later.